Hello everybody. I'm going to give you a tour of the uh, most expensive supermarket in Berlin. I think most of this is, yeah, with truffles. And this is, this is cake stuff. And this is glitter for cakes. Seems to be all the spices. is thyme, the green one is thyme, the blue one, kokuma, in English is um, cumin. Indian curry, this is pepper. Oh, these are actually, I don't know if you guys have seen these before, these are actually super popular. Uh, the entire, um, you must have, the entire cake mix comes inside and you normally just add milk or water. Things like pancake mix, waffle mix, baking mix. Goji berries. Goji berries are actually really good. I don't know if anyone has had goji berries. Oh, the dates aren't that expensive. It's three ninety-five. Let's try this way first. This entire floor is actually quite huge. It's a very big supermarket, and they even have like a uh, like a fresh food section, if you will. When you get to the other end, this is gigantic. This is um. Balsamic, uh, it's not vinegar, what's the word? Maybe like dressing? They also have a bunch of restaurants up here as well, next to the supermarket. They have a bunch of antipasti. These are capers, I believe. The chunks of zucchini or tomatoes and olive oil. <laughs> Just for reference, itself, Berlin itself is not at all a very expensive uh, city. But this part of the city is considered by many A lot of people I know, hello, uh, tend to avoid this part of the city because they think it's extremely overpriced. But I mean, everyone has their opinion. I think these are mustards. Seems to be like the, the sauce section. What is this? No. 
Here's all the pasta. They actually look really good. I saw something here. I think I might even see it already. It's like a red and black pastas. Pasta rice. They look like they would all be super delicious. Tomato sauces. Baguettes. Look at the color of them. If you've never had these before, if you ever get a chance, have one. They also have them, they're very popular in Paris as well. Everything here looks incredible. Well, these are actually good. I might even get some before I leave. This looks incredible. Looks like there's gold on top of this as well. I don't know if you can see a lot of the shine, but it looks golden. Everything there looked incredible, my gosh. There's coffee.
So it's like a... Do they have drinks here? cents per egg. dessert territory now. This is like a cheese area. All the vino. What can we see inside as well? A little bit. I know years ago they had something here. It was, I think, like the most expensive bottle or something. It was several thousand. It was also behind uh, several layers of, uh, of glass. <laughs> go through every single aisle but I feel like that would take me years to be able to do there's so much here Reminds me a lot of Harrods. I don't know if anyone here has been to or lived in London before, but Harrods is uh, <coughs> relatively similar to this. Angelina. I made uh, one of the other videos that I made. You can also see uh, what Angelina looks like a little tiny bit. It's a very beautiful, classical <laughs> French restaurant. Well, that's a bit okay.
it just keeps going. My gosh, everything looks so delicious. Tea area. Classic teas, black teas, new teas, green teas, wellness teas. This is another tea section. Also another very popular French brand, Mariage Frère. These prices actually aren't terrible, terrible for like a thing of tea. Uh, if you've ever been to Mariage Frère before, especially the ones in Paris, I mean, sometimes it's around 130 euros for like a like a, a bag of a bag of tea. So 30, 34 euros around 40 dollars doesn't seem too terrible. <laughs> So very good tea as well. Ah, here we go again. <clears throat> Same place, Angelina. It's kind of just like a, I guess a brand now here. About 20 euros for this one. Wait, what's it? Wait, why is this one 20? Why is this one 13? And then the small one is 750. If you've never had this before, it's like, um, imagine melting a, a candy bar and putting cream inside of it. It's incredibly thick and it's usually served with um, whipped cream on top as well. Uh, if, you're, if you've ever been to Spain, it, you, it's kind of like the, the thick chocolate that you would uh, dip into a um, churro. It is delicious. I cannot begin to explain that. It's nice to see so many teas. I'm a, a tea drinker. I don't know how many people out there are coffee drinkers. Coffee makes my, uh, my heart beat too fast. If you've ever watched my other channels, I've mentioned that before. Uh, I'm naturally very energetic and any extra energy kind of just makes me uh, go off kilter a little bit. <clears throat> I think I have to walk <clears throat> a little bit maybe through this area. I know there was a lot of construction here.
I remember there being a like a fresh fish section. I know they've also been renovating over the last two or three years as a I'm pretty sure this was one of the places that was uh, closed down during the you know the last couple of years. as well. Products from America. <laughs> oh, this entire thing is actually from America. You'll be able to see uh, what the prices are here. Pop tarts is about $10. pancake syrup. It's about eleven dollars. I used to have this a lot when I was a kid. I do not remember the price of Kool-Aid when I was a kid, but I'm certain it was not $12, $13. Almost certain. The Lucky Charms is around $17. This is looking like more North America at this point. A lot of Canadian brands. I love that they also have this stuff up here with no price on it. It's kind of just like generic American thing area. $5.95. I know it's been a while, but I remember these being 45 cents, even when I was a kid. Oh, I used to have these also when I was a kid. These are uh, kind of easy made pumpkin pies. Interesting to see what they have from America. This is like a pizza restaurant, as far as I can tell. If you've never had mochi before, <clears throat> it's delicious. One of, the, one of the best ways I like to have it is if you have it frozen. Frozen and cut in half. It's the way that they do it at Nobu, and I'm always eating it this way now. Ah, here we go. Here's what I was thinking of. in this area.
looking for if they have it on the side. I don't want to walk too close to like their food area. They were also like having a weird conversation, so I don't like bothering people while they're talking to each other. Always look for like sliced meat prices. That's kind of my uh, general gauge on how much things are. Here's the deli. And if you go higher from here, you get to the actual uh, rooftop restaurant. Should be able to show all of you a little hint of what it looks like. basically walk through it choose what you want I won't actually go through there because you're supposed to actually this is more like a, a paid area I have paid for my food and therefore I want to eat it kind of thing just wanted to show you guys this of course over here is a very popular area Let's see how close I can get without actually walking next to anyone or any families okay relatively empty Very good view of the city from here. Yeah, I do hope that you've all enjoyed. Crazy, it's a, it's, a, it's a crazy supermarket. Wanted to make sure that I showed everyone. This is the entirety of the mall. If you look down, it's a luxury mall downstairs. And then a, uh, <laughs> a luxury supermarket upstairs. Do hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all are having a great day. A great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are. Wherever you might be, I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.